Harvard uh, Jet Demonstration Team, and we're here at the Smithsonian. Uh, we're going to be uh, meeting everyone uh, from 12 till 5 for a static display and uh, question and answer period uh, tomorrow, and we're really excited to meet uh, everyone that shows up. Great. Uh, does anyone have any questions? Oh, tell me, how long have you been with the Snowbirds? So this is my second year with the Snowbird team. Uh, typically we only do two years, uh, so we'll have a junior training partner and then a senior training partner and then we'll move on and go back to flying either whatever we flew before with the Air Force or uh, something new maybe. Oh, what is your background? Uh, so I was an instructor uh, on my first tour, so I flew the Hawk, which is sort of similar to the T-45 Goshawk that your U.S. Navy uses, and uh, I flew that for about three and a half years and uh, then tried out for the Snowbirds and was lucky enough to make the team. What do tryouts involve? Uh, we actually do flying tryouts, so it's uh, eight trips uh, with team members and uh, we'll do seven formation trips uh, in the Tudor, so the same jet that we'll fly with the team and uh, the senior team members will see how we do. Uh, they don't really give us any feedback in the process until the end where we just have, uh, they decide whether we made the team or not and uh, from then on we start training with the team. Hey, uh, do you have a favourite airplane to fly? Favorite airplane to fly? That's uh, that's so tough. I love the Tudor. You know, um, it's uh, it's an outstanding airplane. It's all mechanical feel, so it, it feels really pure. Uh, I love flying the Hawk before too. It was uh, a jet that I flew for so many hours that it felt like when I strapped it on, it just felt like uh, super comfortable to me. So I'd say those are my top two so far. Uh, what's the highest you've ever flown? The highest I've ever flown in my life would be uh, about forty-two thousand feet, and that would be on a Transit in the Hawk. Hey, uh, what was it like flying over the National Mall and into Dulles Airport today? It was uh, it was amazing, but you know, uh, as formation pilots, we don't really get to enjoy it as much as uh, you might think. We have to watch our references on the lead aircraft very carefully. Uh, our error box is about uh, two feet by two feet by two feet, so we have to stay within that box at all times. So you can see a little bit of uh, of the monument and you know things like that and the peripheral vision, but unfortunately, you can't really do any uh, significant sightseeing. So uh, looking forward to seeing some sights tomorrow. Great. Uh, thank you very much. Thank you. Perfect. What are you talking about? Born for this. <laughs>